Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Just wanted to talk to y'all about something real quick, right? So Luke 22 and 40 says, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. Right? We're supposed to be praying that we are not going to enter into temptation. Why? Because the flesh is weak. And even though your spirit wants to follow the Most High, if you're entering into temptation constantly, constantly, if you are not deeply rooted in this truth, you are going to end up giving in to those temptations, right? So pray that you enter not into temptation. But at the same time, you cannot be praying that you're not going to enter into temptation and then putting yourself in the position to be tempted constantly on a consistent day-to-day, week-to-week basis, right? Some of you brothers are struggling with a lustful spirit, for example, right? And then you are still putting yourself in the position to be tempted by being around lascivious women, whether it be going to the club, whether it be even hanging out at the mall or something like that, right? You cannot put yourself in a position to be constantly, consistently tempted by females that are dressing lascivious by putting yourself around a whole bunch of lascivious women, by following a whole bunch of lascivious women. Another example, you cannot uh, try to stop smoking, smoking weed, for example, but then you're still hanging around the same people that smoke weed all the time, right? Or that sell weed, right? Or their house smells like weed. You're just putting yourself in position to be tempted. So what then is the point in praying that you will not enter into temptation, right? There's no point in it, man. That's being that's being double-minded. That's being hypocritical, right? If, if you're always putting yourself in position, you're just setting yourself up for failure. It's like me, for example, I've been doing martial arts pretty much my whole life, MMA, like 11 or 12 years. And I always compare this walk in the truth to martial arts, right? So let's say I'm going to fight a dude and he has a right hand that could knock me out right? I know he has a right hand. I know he has a good right hand. Everything else, he can't really kick. He can't really throw the left. And then I keep slipping my head to the left. I keep slipping my head to the left side, right? Which is going right into his, what? Into his power shot, right? What can knock me out? This is what some of y'all are doing spiritually. You are dropping your head right into Satan's knockout. And you need to be careful when setting yourself up to be tempted because one of these days, you're going to get knocked out spiritually, man. And, you, and the Most High is going to give you over to that reprobate mind. And I know because I've seen this happen, man. I've seen this happen personally to brothers and sisters close to me that were, were in this truth and are no longer in this truth because they kept setting themselves up for failure. They kept going back to that person or those people that were smoking weed all the time and they ended up giving into it. And now they're not in the truth. Or well, they kept uh, going back to that person or people that were was causing them to fornicate. And now they're not in this truth no more. So y'all just need to be careful when setting yourself up uh, to be tempted. And pray always that you are not going to enter into temptation, right? And pray for the strength to fight off that temptation, of course, when you enter into it. But at the same time, do not set yourself up. For that spiritual knockout, right? So, Shalom, all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.